What's up ladies and gents, don't forget to subscribe to Russian Gaming, that's www.youtube.com slash user slash Russian Gaming, like and subscribe and share. What's up ladies and gents, Romeo's in the Hey And he's back with another edition of Romeo Plays Final Fantasy Online We're getting close to the end of um, The post Heaven's Word but pre Stormblood stuff uh, Now at the end of the last episode, if you remember, I got this I got a um, West, white colored vest Which uh, looked more like White, but anyway, how to say it Glamour plate. Oh, what? I can't use it here. It's a bit dumb. Anyway, but I didn't like the color, so I changed it. And look at this, guys. This is amazing. Also, I've been playing this for so long that I've grown a beard and a mustache as well. So it's coming there. And yes, this is as much as I can grow in this game for some reason. For some reason, if I play this particular. Um, type of human who's a midlander for some reason they have they're really low on testosterone so they can't grow beards it's pretty dumb uh, so I did think about changing my uh, race to Highlander actually just so I can grow a beard but Highlanders can't be five foot seven they have to be taller or something so it's like uh, why do you do this to me game I so we enter the rising zones. Uh, gotta talk to Effinod, I believe, and then we will continue our quest. I believe we are going to be headed somewhere. Also, there is a very awesome samurai dude. His name is uh, Gosetsu, who's come for his Akoini, uh, which is Yugiri. Um, so he's come to collect them for some reason. All right. Alright, time to fly to Mordona, then we have to go outside there. I wonder if there's a slick, slick, slick looking uh, mount I can use. Yeah, I might as well just use this to be honest, looking good. Not very manly. Sorry, I didn't mean manly. What I was trying to say was, it doesn't quite fit the uh, vibe of my character. If you look at him, he's sitting on a dragon dressed up as that. That's a bit out there when you think about it. Also, I think my character looks a bit like a weeb, so I'm a bit, a little bit... Ah, what am I doing? Uh, speaking of, sorry. Yes, I'm being sad. Don't judge me, alright? Don't judge me, man. I'm going to mount guide. 
should have a mount that is a bit more relevant to this uh, player. So I've got Mid Sumner Mount. Now, Slidra. Hmm, maybe. A black chocobo. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. Magitek armor. Really out there. You know what? I think this is it. It's the mana cutter. What else? Like this. Smooth, see? It's right in. God, no, it's cringe. Sorry, I can't take this. Alright. Moving on with the quest. Let's hope Nero doesn't screw us over somehow. Oh, Sid. We haven't far to go. With any luck, we'll be in Kartano before Gosetsu graces the deck with his dinner. Once there, however, we had best be on our guard. Given that Aileen Royale was still active when Omega was discovered, we can be sure that the Empire has long been aware of his existence, and if Nero deemed it the obvious solution to the threat posed by this new primal, it is not impossible that Garlemald might do the same. Have your weapons ready and your wits about you. Something tells me we are in fly we are flying into a fight. Alright, into a fight we go. Enable the teleporter. One brief jump and we shall arrive in Omega's control room. How convenient. You've been here before. Of course. It was no easy task threading a path through all the skirmishes. But how could I ignore the existence of such a fascinating toy? You may trust that my preliminary examination was suitably thorough. Trust? Aye. I trust your appetite for technology. I chased down a suspect airship, and who should I find but the traitor, Sid Garland? Searching for something, Engineer? Something big? It's close, isn't it? <laughs> it's like all my name days have come at once. Of all the scouts the Empire could have sent. Take care of that brute, will you? God damn it. Can't let Nero tinker around in there by himself. I'm sorry to leave you to it, but I dare say you'll manage without me. This clod has no idea who he's dealing with. I am Gorsetsu, Samurai of Doma. You will rue your choice of opponent this day. I much prefer to watch them fight to be honest. They should have just made a cutscene where he just fights them. So we can see what a samurai is all about. Because obviously that's what he's about. Remember some of these characters are like half advertisements for the next um, job that's been unlocked. 
Okay, for some reason, this is stuck. Please don't be stuck. What is going on? Oh, thank god. He's going down. It's all over now. Oops. Whoopity do that. He's got some quick recharges, doesn't he? Am I supposed to be doing something else? He is really strong. Ah. Okay, maybe I need to k kill some mages. Are there any mages? Mages, mages, mages. No, they're all melee, which is uh, not bad actually. I think I think good for me that is. Uh, let's just pay attention on Gwyneth right there. Pretty funny fight this one. Oh, I didn't expect myself to be there. So one is ah the old designated cannon. Second is the machine gun, isn't it? There you go. Aha. Cool. This is a new one. Fires an explosive projectile. Whoa, that is huge. Look at that. Oops. And was number four. One short burst of energy. Uh See that? Amazing! Oh, he's going down. You don't know where to hit him. Yep, he's down. Where is this guy? Where's the big guy? There you go. Oh yeah, they are fighting the samurai and the big guy. Look upon a samurai of Okay, Ryukyu is in trouble, better save her. This one will sting. No, you're good, Ray, I'm here. Do not bother. No retreat. No surrender. Aha, that's where I want them. Bang. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, give me some extra XP, guys. That's still so Aha, three in a row. That should be an achievement or something.
No holding back indeed. Tis my right to strike! Please come back here. Hey, that and this. Temporal stasis disengaged. All systems operational. Garland? All clear on this side. It's waking up. Omega sensors immediately detected the presence of the cocoon, even at this distance. They must have been set to scan for sources of energy exceeding certain magnitudes. I still don't see any means to control the machine directly. It seems to have been designed to act wholly autonomously. Hmm. Once we release Omega, we can be fairly certain it will attempt to capture the Primal at Belsar's Wall. Assuming its mission is successful, our only option at that point will be to re-engage its stasis system and put it back to sleep. And should the machine happen to misbehave, we'll simply initiate an emergency shutdown. I confess we don't yet have a complete grasp of its capabilities, but I'm certain the details will not elude us for long. Well, I understood less than half of that. So, my question to you is, are we doing the right thing? I suppose not. Side, Sid. Is this the thing I need to press? Uh, yes, that's the one. You gave too much for us to waste this chance, Papalimo. So this is for you. And me. <laughs> yes! 
Fly free, my pretty! Show us what you can do! The launch sequence has begun. Omega is loose. Omega has stopped transmitting. But that shouldn't be. I, I didn't engage the stasis system. And what does this signify? 
I have little understanding of these contrivances. The launch went exactly to plan, but all signals emanating from Omega have ceased. This may indicate any number of things, but we will need to join the Scions out in the field if we are to ascertain which one. Right. I've ordered the malfunctioning beast to go to sleep. That should prevent any unfortunate mishaps. I suggest we make our way back to Gridania. Omega destroyed the cocoon. Papalimo's spell is fading. It was bound to his ether, you see. And if the connection is broken... I think I'll take the glasses off on this one. It's getting a bit too much, the glasses. <laughs> Looking a bit too old there. There you go. Jeez. So, a little bit depressed because it turns out it was that primal that they summoned in the end. It was quite a powerful primal. I don't know what, what it was. I'm not sure why we lost contact with Omega, but I mean to find out. Let's be on our way. One moment, everything was functioning perfectly, and the next it wasn't. It makes no sense. We need to see what happened for ourselves and soon. She still wants to see if she can somehow save Papalemo. Ah, oh, poor Yada. Okay, so now we have to go to the elder seats here. So I'm guessing we have to go to the lotus stand again. Should be interesting. Elder seats your way to within. Hi, hi, let's go inside.
You must be exhausted. I would ordinarily suggest that we retire directly to the Rising Stones, but I wonder if you might make first make a small detour. Ishtola and the others have gathered at Amari 6 Spire, and I imagine that you too... Uh, oops, sorry. Just checking if I'm even recording this. Yes, recording's in progress. That's all good. <coughs> it's time to lead on. Sorry, I clicked before finishing off the text. Check it out though, what a cool guy. Oh, quite far away actually. It's a shame I couldn't fly everywhere. My friends, I cannot well express how glad I am to see you both unharmed. They say that Omega's clash with the Primal shook the very firmament. You need not have worried. The battle took place far above the ground. We were able to observe in relative safety, though I am given to understand that there were casualties on the far side of the wall. It was like watching a nightmare unfold before our very eyes. Illbird's primal manifested in the form of a colossal dragon, a being of pure violence. It burst forth from the cocoon with such terrible force. That such a horror should spring from the eyes of Nidhogg comes as no surprise. Nor do I wonder at its form. Illbird all but announced it in the moments prior to his death. Plainly, it was his dying wish to visit a second calamity upon the Empire. And I am quite certain the Abomination would have obliged had it not found itself outmatched by a Mega. Gods! I am no stranger to the works of Alag, but even I was unprepared for the machine's furiosity. It beggared belief! And how fares poor Ida in the midst of all this? Have you spoken with her? She is up on the platform, lost in thought. We deemed it best not to disturb her. But mayhaps she would welcome some company after all. Shall we? gone. It was all we had left of him. Ida. I don't blame anyone. I knew what was going to happen. I knew the spell Pavelimo meant to cast would drain away his life force. I knew that it would only buy us a little time.
Ida, there is no need to explain. But there is. I can't hide in Papalimo's little shadow anymore, and I shouldn't hide behind my sister's mask. Twenty years ago, on the day the Empire marched into Alamigo, I was still just a child, not even five summers old. My father had been one of the leaders of the revolution. He had fought to overthrow the mad king, Theodoric. And my sister had fought alongside him. But she was strong and kind, and always knew what to do. But when the Garleans came, everything changed. My father went to war against them too. And I never saw him again. After that, I remember a lot of running. My sister dragged me for malms and malms until we came to the city of Charlian. That was where she met Master Louis Soir. He introduced her to the Circle of Knowing, and she eventually became an Archon. She was your inspiration. Is that not why you took up her mask and her name? Or did you simply mean to continue what she had started? You've known all along, haven't you? That I wasn't Ida. Of course. We all recognized you at once. It was Papalimo who persuaded us to maintain the charade. It was silly to think I could fool you. I knew that even then, but I... I sort of... decided not to know. Ida died six years ago, on a mission to smuggle refugees out of Alamigo. They say she was overwhelmed by Imperial soldiers when she stayed behind to save a little girl. She was so strong. There must have been a lot of them. I'm sorry for lying to you. My real name is Lys. When Papalimo brought me Ida's mask, it was meant as a keepsake, but... I decided I wanted to be his new partner, to keep alive all the good that she had done. I didn't want to become Ida, exactly. At the time, though, I still didn't know who I was myself and it almost seemed easier to play the role. Papalimo agreed to help, of course, but it was never what he wanted for me. He wanted me to walk my own path, and those were his final words to me. The Archon's mark he gave me is faded, and my last excuse along with it, So this is it. Whatever I choose to do from now on, I do as lease. And I choose to continue my family's fight. I want Alamigo to be the country that Ida and my father always wanted it to be. War is upon us once more. Do you regret standing against the Empire? Would you have chosen a different road, knowing what you know now? To claim that I never doubted the decision would be a lie. But I made my choice, and I have defended it with blade in hand ever since. The battle continues, and our steel is needed. Come, Shadow Walker. We leave for the east, for Doma.
may have mentioned, but Afinod has apprised me of all that came to pass in Gridania. Your only task now is to rest. This is calm before the storm. Lys has chosen her path and her friends. We must do what we can to su support that choice. We are fated to join the conflict in any case. Once the Alliance has taken the wall and opened the way to Gar Abania, we will have little choice but to fight. Which is not to say the cause is unworthy. After all, ignoring the plight of those whom one might conceivably save is not wisdom but indolence, correct? I for one look forward to joining hands with the Al-Megans and striking a blow against the tyranny of the Empire as I rather suspect you do. Ooh, 10,000 gil. What's up ladies and gents, don't forget to subscribe to Russian Gaming, that's www.youtube.com 
slash user slash Russian gaming like and subscribe and share